As I heard these words from this woman, I realized that she was white. You know, later, way really later on, but when I was young, I was like, oh no, the guy is also responsible, but that really is responsible that they don't take responsibility. That's the thing with men. And that's where you have to ask yourself this question, how this man was raised. What is his background? Okay, as mother that we have, that I am today, I have a son. It is important that I do my part as a woman, as a mother, to teach my son some principles about how to treat a woman, about how to behave with women in general. That is my role, because it will show when he will become a man. And then seeing my friend crying and talking about a relationship situation she's going through, and looking my own, and listening to so many things that I read in social media, and women talking, I go to some, um, how do you say, not counselor, but like, uh, group talk. I see how women are really hurt by the way men treated them. And if I'm sharing that with you today, it's because I realized that I've been seeing the same patterns for years, but I didn't learn from that. And that's something with us women, we don't learn. Because men, we behave the same ways. The same way. Unless, I don't talk about exception, I talk about general cases, generality, okay? I told you in my previous video that I had friends, I grew up with men, with male, like boys in high school because I was in the dormitory of boys only. I saw how they behave. I saw how they can be competitive sometimes. Men are very competitive, okay? If a guy fall in love with a girl and probably the other one, he can feel like, oh, me too, I want, you know, that's really, they are very competitive. But I also grew up, when I went to university, I have also friends. And my close friends were men, young men, you know, in university. And I saw how they operate with girls. Um... The thing is, I didn't want to be with girls because girls gossip too much. And sometimes you don't really know why they gossip about it. It's just gossiping about futility. But with men, usually, you can talk about stuff because they don't have really time to gossip. If you see men gossiping, it's, it, it, it's a kind of men, seriously, because usually they don't. They talk about sport. They talk about stuff, you know, work. Sometimes they can, yeah, they can talk about girls, of course. I mean, men who are not really wise, you know, when they talk like that, and that's how I learn from them. Sometimes they forget that you are in the room, for example, they're all talking together, they have drinks, they have a drink, they're talking together, they are open their heart. That's how they, you hear, you hide somewhere and listen to what they say when it comes to women how they see, you know, and you see that the society, there is a lot of problem. If you can be proud of sleeping around with different girls, that's where the problem is. Now, the question would be, how can you, how could you be friend with men who are playing women? The thing is, the thing is, um, it's difficult to judge someone based on one aspect of his life, okay? When it comes to men, what I see, because women, we are different. We mix everything in our head. That's why when a man go Disneyland with you, you know, they, they, they take you in their bed when you go Disneyland, you feel like, you think it, it loves you. No, it doesn't. A man doesn't love you even if he goes to Disneyland with you. 
it doesn't love you. Okay, it, it, we have to understand that sometimes they think you're not there. Sometimes. And they know how they, they, they do the stuff they do. They know. So, you cannot judge someone based on one side of his life. Yeah, you will have, you will see some man. You, know, you can have a, a person that you know, a man who is very well put together, he's very serious, he goes to work, he had good friends, he's a good, the best friend ever, he can be a good colleague, a good friend, a good worker, a good father, a good da 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 da. But when it comes to relationship, you'll be surprised how it can be. When it comes to about love relationship, relationship and stuff like that, emotional feelings and such, you will be surprised that he's a complete different person. Why do you see that, for example, you have a dictator, for example, a dictator or someone who has so much charisma or a dictator being very evil to his people and he has a wife? Why do you think that the wife is there? It's because she sees a, another part of him that the people don't see, do not know. Okay, she's the one. Like one of them say, one of these wives once say, I am the one who, when he wake up, he, he, I am the first person that he sees when he wake up. When he wakes up, wakes up, I am the last person he sees when he goes to sleep. And that is true. So you don't know, you see the man, because the truth is what, what, what is about life, what is life. Like the song of Celine Young when she say, on ne change pas. We don't change. The thing is, when she say, we just wear some costume, we just wear some mask, you know? In the morning, you have to put on, you have to put on a mask. You have to be the perfect person when you go outside of your home. People must perceive you in a way. You have to be a person. There is something about you. But there is one person that you cannot lie to. It's the wife. She's the one who knows everything. She's the, know, she's the one who will tell you everything about the man. How he behave in the house. How he behave in the, in the Disneyland world. Okay? She's the only one. And um, that's why when you are in a relationship, you cannot pretend to be. Because even if you pretend, your mask will fall at some point. The mask will fall. You cannot, you know, when it comes to love and relationship, you can be the strong, the, the muscle guy, the, this and that. It can be like that. But then in a relationship, it's just a little old lady who turning his head. Like she drives him crazy. I think you have seen stories because I talk for fact. Stories like... The man is about to get married with a woman that he thinks is the right person. But there is another woman who turned his head. And the day before his wedding, he goes to sleep with her. Even on the honeymoon, you have men who left their honeymoon room to go to the other girl. So it tells what? It tells a lot about that, this gender, this man. It tells a lot. I told you about my story when I went, I was a teenager. I went for the first time, no, no, the second time when I went back to, uh, uh, to the to other African countries and blah, blah. I told you how the priest was about to take off his robe, his religious robe, this institution that he was wearing because of a little teenager. Yeah, he was about to do that. How can a man, an adult man, can be obsessed with a little girl and ready to leave? I mean, to even, I don't say reject, but kind of disrespect the institution that he's serving. And that happened often. In churches, you are, you have this person, is a figure in church, but he falls for a woman. It can be 
a prominent figure, but he falls for a woman. It shows you that men have the way to be that we women do don't we don't necessarily understand. Okay? I will take to the next video.